We've all seen the videos online of the lovable and also kickable robotic mule known as Alpha Dog, which was being developed for the military by engineering company Boston Dynamics. They were contracted by DARPA. Five years on, $42 million later, and the RoboDog project has been shelved. I know, it's very sad. Apparently, Alpha Dog proved too loud to fight alongside the U.S. Marines. Uh, following an extended test, the project has been suspended, at least for now. Um, so, Jose, it's, 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 it's very sad. I mean, I, for some reason, was watching these videos and I didn't know whether to laugh, really like this creature, feel bad for it when it was getting kicked, or whether I was kind of terrified. It's hard to, it's hard to imagine. If you guys haven't seen the video, here's a clip of Alpha Dog in action. Not very stealthy there as it's like chomping taunt, through taunt, the taunt, 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 taunt. <laughs> Yeah. So so how much did this project cost so far? Forty two million dollars. That's that's Go under, the, down the drain. All down the drain because they're not really using this for anything now. So here's what it was used for. Uh, I mean supposed to be used for. It was gonna be like a mule essentially. It was mm -hmm. gonna walk alongside the soldiers and carry very heavy loads. It was supposed to carry up to four hundred pounds. And it can, it's just too damn loud and it's gonna, gonna give away killed. their position, it's gonna get them killed. Um, so the average soldier is supposed to carry um, no more than 72 pounds when marching, 48 when they're fighting on the battlefield, okay? But then you go to like Iraq, for example, back in 2003, paratroopers were carrying up to 101 pounds, which they weren't supposed to be doing. So something like this, you can imagine, um, would be very useful. We're just not there yet. This was, this was one of the DARPA initiatives. They were trying to you know, introduce technology further into the battlefield and they failed miserably. This is not the first time. There are other military development projects that have gone way above budget, way under the, the lever, and they have to be shelved. And it's sad to see that so much money keeps getting invested in the military industrial complex to no results. I mean, it's always sad when they do it for results, but this is even more ridiculous when we see the deficit in infrastructure, in education, in the, the other problems that concern this country, and now we see the amount of waste that this type of development creates. Amount of waste, a taxpayer money waste yeah. too, uh, you should be said. Well, look, let's, let's try to be a little optimistic okay. at least. Maybe they're not going to use it right away for the military, but Boston Dynamics might move on to some other project. They just got bought out, bought out by Google, so I'm sure they have a lot of other stuff they can do. Maybe the applications are, are limitless, really. Right. For other purposes, I think it's a great invention. If you think about rescue missions, if you think about yeah. having to move debris of, out of, of a natural disaster, these will become really, really handy and, and help us, but we can't untie the origin, the origin that it was supposed to be to further perpetuate the military industrial complex. Maybe someone can pick up this project and make like a less creepy version of it, maybe a little bit more stealth and like more Did they try an electric looking. version? They did, it was called Spot. Um, and it, it was an electric version, it obviously was a lot quieter, but it completely defeated the purpose because Spot could only carry 40 pounds, so he can carry no less than, than a human. human can, so there's really no point of having him there. So I think this is the infancy of the uh, infancy stage of this whole project, and I think it's going to grow, and eventually we'll be able to use it. But like I said, we're simply not there yet. So for now, I guess we're not going to see robots um, engaging in any warfare anytime soon. They're going to have to soon. carry their bags. The people are going to have to carry their, their bags. So RoboDog, everyone, for now, has been shelved.